To play rank, you shuffle the deck and deal 15 cards to each player. All other cards are placed in the middle of the table to create a draw pile. The objective of each hand is to be the first player out of cards. The first player out of cards becomes the king. If you're the last person out of cards, you become the beggar. Each player then draws a card to determine who goes first. Player 4 drew a king and will go first. In our sample game, we have four players noted by the four player icons on the screen. Player 4 starts the game by placing down any number of cards. If you play multiples, they must match. You usually want to start with low cards as these are harder to use later in the game. The next player must play the same number of cards but of a higher value to beat the previous play and stay in the round. Play continues around the table until all players but one decide to pass. In this round, player 1, 2, and 3 decided to pass instead of playing higher value cards. Even though they could play, they decided it may be strategic not to. The remaining player wins the round and gets to lead the next round. The game gets more interesting as players begin to play special cards like the rank up card. This card allows a player to increase the value of their card or cards by 1. So in this case, the 3 becomes a 4 and can still be played. Only one rank up card is needed for any number of cards. The game then continues as usual. A rank down card will change the value of the play pile to match the value of the card or cards played with it. In this case, a 10 leads the play pile, so usually only an 11 or 12 would beat it. But a rank down card allows a player to lower the value of the middle pile to another value, in this case a 4. Since player 3 has already passed this round, they cannot play again until a new round is started, even if they would now be able to play. A wild card can match any numbered card when played at the same time. If it is played alone, it becomes one number higher than the previous card. A crown card immediately wins the round, and that player gets to start the next round. There are crown cards that make you draw two cards like this one, as well as crown cards that don't make you draw. Play then continues as normal. The first player to go out becomes the king and will have a benefit in the next hand. In this game, player 4 was the first to use all of their cards and will get to be the king in the next hand. In the next hand, the king can decide to either play first or steal the highest numbered card from the beggar. If the king decides to steal a card, then whoever becomes queen will get to play first. Even though the king has won this hand, all players must finish and receive a rank. Player 1 is the next one to go out and becomes the queen. As mentioned, the queen will get to go first if the king chooses to steal a card in the next hand. In this game, player 3 was the last player with cards and will become the beggar. At the end of each hand, there are three royal tokens awarded. The king receives two tokens and the queen gets one. The first player to get five tokens wins the game.